Hi everyone and welcome to Extra Math. Today we will solve the following differential equation. e power x plus y dy over dx equals 1. First we will take x plus y as z. Note that here we have x is a variable, z and y are functions of x. So z equals x plus y, then dz over dx will be derivative of x, which is 1, plus derivative of y, which is dy over dx. So dz over dx equals 1 plus dy over dx. And then dy over dx will be dz over dx minus 1. So we can here substitute instead of this term z and instead of this term this result. So we will have e power z multiplied by dy over dx, which is dz over dx minus 1 equals to 1. Then we can divide the whole equation by e power z to get dz over dx minus 1 equals to 1 over e power z, which is e power minus z. Then dz over dx becomes e power minus z plus 1. We can separate the two variables, so we will have dz over this term will be equal to dx. So we can write dz over 1 plus e power minus z equals to dx. We can perform integration for both sides. So integral of dz over 1 plus e power minus z equals to integral of dz. Here inside the integral in the numerator and the denominator, we can multiply the both sides by e power z. So e power z over 1 plus e power z dz equals to integral of dx. Note that the derivative of the denominator is the numerator. So we are integrating here du over u. So the result is ln of absolute value 1 plus e power z equals integral of dx, which is x plus c. Here we can perform the exponential for the both sides. So we will have 1 plus e power z equals e power x plus c. Here e power x plus c can be written as e power x multiplied by e power c. So e power z will be e power x multiplied by e power c all minus 1. Note that e power c is a constant, so it can be written as k. Then e power z equals k e power x minus 1. But we know that z equals to x plus y. So e power x plus y equals k e x minus 1. But z equals to x plus y. So e power x plus y equals k e power x minus 1. Also e power x plus y can be written as e power x multiplied by e power y and equals to k e power x minus 1. Also, we can divide the whole equation by e power x to get e power y equals to k e power x over e power x, which is k minus 1 over e power x, which is e power minus x. So here we have e power y equals k minus e power minus x. Then we can apply the natural logarithm for the both sides. So y will be ln of k minus e power minus x or ln of absolute value k minus e power minus x. Here k minus e power minus x is equal to e power minus y, which is a positive quantity. So we can put the absolute value or we can get rid of it. Therefore, the solution of this differential equation is y equals to ln of k minus e power minus x. Thank you for watching.